In this question, a scientist wants to predict the enthalpy change of reaction for the reaction between sodium, carbon dioxide and oxygen. So we can see we've got our equation written out here. We've got sodium plus carbon dioxide plus oxygen gives sodium carbonate. Our first step is going to be balancing the equation. At this point, I'm going to assume that you're confident on balancing equations. So I'm going to skip this step. If you need more practice on balancing equations, go back to unit 14 and practice there. So our balanced equation from this question is going to have 4, 2, 1, and 2. Okay, so we're going to be calculating the total enthalpy of formation of the reactants and the total enthalpy of formation of the products. The enthalpy of formation is the energy change when a compound is formed. So you can see on our table over on the right, for carbon dioxide, when that gets formed from carbon and oxygen, our enthalpy change is negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. So when one mole of carbon dioxide gets formed from carbon and oxygen, 393.5 kilojoules of energy are released. The same with sodium carbonate. When that's formed from sodium, carbon and oxygen, we have 1130.7 kilojoules of energy released because we've got that negative sign there. So that's our enthalpy of formation. That's the energy released when a compound is formed from its elements. You'll notice that sodium and oxygen, which are in our equation, don't appear in our table here. The reason why is that they are already in their pure natural form. So sodium is usually a solid, that's its natural form. So its enthalpy of formation is zero because it's already in that form. It doesn't take any energy or release any energy to form it. The same with oxygen in the gas form that's already in its natural form. So that enthalpy of formation will also be zero. So if you ever see an element not included in the table of information, that's because it's already in its natural form. And so its enthalpy of formation is zero. So to get our total enthalpy of formation of our reactants, all we need to do is add up the enthalpy of formation of each of our substances in our equation using their coefficients to multiply those enthalpies of formation by. So we've got four sodiums. Well, we know that sodium has an enthalpy of formation of zero. Plus we've got two sets of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide has an enthalpy of formation of negative 393.5. And we've got one oxygen. Oxygen also has an enthalpy of formation of zero. So if we put that into our calculator, we're going to get a enthalpy change of formation for our reactants of negative 787. Let's put that into our answer box to check we got that right. Awesome. Okay, so that's the energy that would be released, 787 kilojoules, for one mole of the reactants to be formed which gives us four moles of sodium, two moles of carbon dioxide, and one mole of oxygen. Okay, next let's do the same thing for the products. So the enthalpy of formation of the products. Well, here we've only got one thing in the products. It's our sodium carbonate, and we've got two of them. So two sets of sodium carbonate, which has an enthalpy of formation of negative 1130.7. If we put that into our calculator, that's going to get us negative 2,261.4. And these are both in kilojoules per mole. Awesome. Let's go ahead and fill that in as well to check we got that right. Great. So that's the energy that would be released when we form one mole of our products, which is two moles of sodium carbonate. Okay, great. So we know the enthalpy of formation of reactants. We know the enthalpy of formation of our products. 
Now we need to head to our reference sheet to find an equation to help us find the enthalpy change of reaction. So here's our enthalpy of reaction. To calculate it, we're going to take the enthalpy change of formation of the products and subtract the enthalpy change of formation of the reactants. So let's go ahead and put in our numbers for that. Our enthalpy of formation of the products is negative 2,261 minus our enthalpy change of formation for our reactants, which was negative 787. If we put that into our calculator, we're going to get an enthalpy change of reaction of negative 1,474 kilojoules per mole. Let's put that in the answer box. Awesome. Finally, it's asking us, is this reaction endothermic or exothermic? Well, since we have a negative sign on our enthalpy change of reaction, that means the energy is released, which means we have an exothermic reaction because exothermic means we release energy Endothermic means we take in energy. So in this question, all we need to do is calculate the total enthalpy of formation of our reactants and products, and then subtract them from each other to find our enthalpy change of reaction. Make sure you balance the equation correctly first, because we're going to be using those coefficients from the equation in our calculations for the total enthalpy of formation of our reactants and products.